Hello everyone, I'm Arzu Zaga and it's Artist Interview Bon Art Project. Today, Sarah Tariqi joined us from Iran. Sarah Tariqi was born in Iran, having grown up both in Kurdistan, a land of wonderful nature, dance, music, handicrafts, and in a family with a great interest in art, her love of the art grew. The interest was cultivated during her formative years and further developed when she up to pursue her academic education in the realm of art. She received her associated degrees in visual arts. Alongside her teaching, she also received her BA in handicraft art and MA in painting at Surrey University in Tehran. She is an interdisciplinary artist and has exhibited in some group exhibitions in Iran, Sweden and Russia. Sarah is currently an MFA candidate in the studio art, majoring in ceramic at the University of Denver. Welcome and thank you for joining us to this interview. Uh, dear Saha, uh, I have a two simple questions. At the first, what do you think about the theme of the exhibition, I mean the transformation, and how you can explain uh, the connection between your artwork and this theme of the exhibition. Uh, hey dear Arazul, thank you so much, so much for having me. Uh, I really, uh, really appreciate all of your efforts for holding this great exhibition. Uh, well, uh, if you ask me, uh, I want to say that uh, when at the first time I saw your theme, the title of your exhibition, it uh, made me remember of uh, my collection, my recent collection, you know, actually since a couple of years ago, I'm working on a, uh, a collection called Identity, you know, it doesn't matter yeah. right now, I mean, the title of this project, but I want to say that it uh, made me definitely remember of these uh, art piece, uh, you know, because during this uh, collection, I'm trying to show uh, some creatures, some headless, headless creatures trying to uh, separate themselves from their backgrounds, uh, their uh, past lives, you know, their feeling. Um, they, all of them are trying to find uh, their true, true selves, kind of, because as you know, uh, as a person coming from Kurdistan, coming from Iran, uh, the Middle East, we are most of the time are under pressure mentally and uh, we are bombarded by bad news on a regular basis and uh, we have to be prepared for uh, any unwanted changes in our life. So, uh, you know, uh, during my collection, I wanted to show these kind of people trying to uh, separate themselves from the, the earth, even, you know, from that, that back, uh, the negative emotions and uh, bad feeling, and uh, they are trying to find them tr uh, their true selves. And, uh, you know, uh, I just want to uh, show people uh, trying to uh, find them their true selves uh, and being uh, transformed, being transformed to a better maybe future right now. Uh, I focus just on this matter. Maybe I can convey my feeling after miles. I have this kind of feeling with me. Unfortunately, they are an indispensable part of my lives. And as you know, uh, they... Uh, could leave a negative, a destructive impact on our personal personality, our characteristics. So I think um, it could be kind of a good fit for your theme. Yeah, uh, yeah. Right now, uh, you know, I'm uh, an MFA student, first year MFA student in uh, University of Delaware, and uh, again, since I can wait and I uh, have this kind of feeling with myself, you know. Uh, even here, so I have to put it to put into practice my mind. I have to practice. I have to experience. Uh, but um, uh, you know, as you know, ceramics uh, is really a great. Uh, 
medium to uh, come across your problems, your emotions, your feeling as a therapy, even not only not only as a, a art, as an art. So uh, recently, I have been working again uh, on some creatures suffering f- from war and genocide, in particular, and fall genocide because, as you know, I'm Kurd, and unfortunately, during the unfall genocide, more than one thousand. 800 civilian peoples and children had been have been killed and killed and um, I don't know I'm an artist or not but <laughs> I kind of say that as a human it's my main duty to be the voice of these kind of people uh, not having any platform any voice you, you know I, uh, um, I don't know because um, I'm kind of a frustrated person, a disappointed person. Uh, all of these, I want to say that, uh, are the result of being that part of the world, being in the Middle East. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. the product of that environment. As you know, our personality are the result of uh, our environment, our society, our uh, our world. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, that's true with unfortunate. It's my right now, my feeling when it comes to my world. And uh, I want to focus on this matter, maybe to make our planet into a better place in the near future. Yeah. Good luck, Saha. Good luck, really. Uh, my last Thank question you. is so simple. And it's about mm-hmm. uh, what you think about the virtual exhibition. And uh, I mean, what you think about the future of virtual exhibition, you know, um, I guess uh, for Iranian artists it's a different uh, place of uh, the uh, display and exhibit the artwork, you know, uh, we couldn't uh, connect with other countries and other artists, it's, it's like it get a blood from a stone, you know, <laughs> sometimes, and what do you think about, for, um, as an Iranian artist, I mean? Yeah, definitely you're right. Uh, you know, uh, to my mind, um, uh, it's kind of uh, like a double-edged sword. And I mean, has uh, not uh, has a negative or a negative part. I want to say that it has both merits and demerits. But uh, to my mind, um, its disadvantages are really. Um, important because you know in particular for artists that are not really well known or and famous they don't have any platform uh, or uh, especially Iranian artists uh, because when you want to take part in some exhibitions or want to take part in some residency you have to go to embassies and take your visa so it's a, a time consuming maybe sometimes it's not impo- possible for you so virtual exhibition would be a great opportunity for uh, Iranian students in particular uh, because uh, in the link of an eye you can uh, search on the internet on some social networking apps like Instagram Facebook mm-hmm. and keep pace with the latest news uh, with the latest, latest information and uh, exhibition running throughout the world and you can find the like-minded people, uh, you know, make uh, stronger and bigger, I mean, your the circle of your friendship and it would be... Uh, it would be absolutely, it, um, I want to say that it can be considered as a, a great option when you want to be a successful and maybe a postmodern artist. Uh, yeah, and thank you for your uh, running, I mean, running this exhibition because um, I think it's uh, my first uh, ritual exhibition and I'm so <laughs> excited about this matter. It's really amazing when you want to check on the internet. <laughs> Although to me, yeah, since I'm really awkward, I mean, working uh, on some social networking apps, uh, but for younger, younger generation, it would be a great option. They are really, you know, people more and more are addicted to some um, in the internet and uh, social networking applications like Instagram and Facebook and blah blah yeah, yeah. And I, hope, I hope in the future we will have uh, more and more these kind of uh, events throughout the world yeah oh yeah I hope so and uh, really thank you for to chance speaking with you 
and I'm so glad uh, the jury member selected your artwork and we have you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate all of your help, your efforts during this process. Yeah, thank you. My yeah. great pleasure. Thank you and have a great time. You too. Please take care. Have a great time.